Welcome to Savi IT Solutions. In the last video, we learned about um, HTML forms. Now we are learning HTML plugins. So plugins are nothing but we can play video and audio or uh, zip files, uh, flash files in HTML with the help of plugins. This can be replaced in HTML5 with videos and audio files. Okay. So now we need to learn about HTML plugins and HTML attributes, common attributes we are using in each and each and every HTML tag. Okay. So plugins are small applications that extend the capabilities of user agents by running on the client mission and handling data delivered via HTTP supplied by the user agent. So user agent and plugin, the browser requests the engine and data will be supplied from the web server. So note that plugins are specialized applications required the end user to install and maintain them on their systems. Although plugins are common on the web, you should use caution in deciding to use a plugin enabled content in your web pages as it does have an impact on the end user. So coming to that, um, so syntax for uh, creating plugins, adding plugins into our HTML. One tag is embed, embed source, and then name of, name of the file, width and height, and hidden, either true or false. Simply, we are giving the example. Apart from this, one more is object. So we are discussing the next slide. So plugins object tag. So this is the syntax for creating an object. Okay, directly we can import um, YouTube video into our web page with the help of object. Okay, The object tag was introduced to replace both the embed and applet tag means for of embedding objects, non-HTML content within HTML documents. The object tag has the following syntax. The, the, ob the object tag encapsulates alternate text that is used if the object cannot be handled by the destination user agent and parameters defined by parameter tags param so apart from this i need i already mentioned that uh, the plugins are replaced with video sorry and audio tags in html5 uh, at the end of the JavaScript, we are also discussing about HTML5, few things related to HTML5. That instance, we will explain you what, how we are using video and audio tag. Okay. Now, these are the attributes, okay, uh, helped in uh, adding uh, uh, object, uh, adding audio plugins into object. So, achieve class ID code base, code type, data, declare, height, name, standby, type, use map, width. Okay. So, how, what are the values we need to give and what is the respect to meaning? I also read one thing. Uh, achieve URL or URLs. So URLs to achieve related to the object. Class ID, class ID, a URL to the implementation of the object. Code base, URL, a URL to the location of the code to utilize the object code type mim type the mim type of the object data url a url to the object's data declare either true or false determines if that object should only be declared but not initialized or initialized and displayed after loaded height pixels or percentage the displayed height of the object name unique name a unique name for the object using in subscripting standby text defines text to display while the object loads type mim type the mim type of the data specified by the data attribute use map url specifies the location of a client side image map to use with the object with pixels or percentage the displayed width of the object okay a a maximum all are used in the object tank but few are uh, optional and uh, almost all are mandatory in the process. Okay. Now, commonly 
HTML attributes. What are the commonly used HTML attributes? HTML elements can have attributes. Attributes provide additional information about an element. Attributes are always specified in the start tag. Attributes come in name or value pairs like name is equal to value. So I will tell you few things. Height, width, align, vertical align, color, font, font family. These are the few attributes used in HTML previously. Now we need to know exactly what is the list available in that. Okay, the common most common used are what is our class, style, ID, title, name, width, and align. So clearly, I need to say that in cascading style sheets (CSS). Definitely, we use all the attributes to give more look and feel about the website. Okay, these are the things commonly used: um, accept, action, align, alt, background, background, busy color, b order, cell padding, checked class, color, content, column span, coordinates, height, herif, h space, http equal. ID, label, lang, long ways, link, max length, name, on blur, on change, on click, on db, uh, on double click, on focus, on key down, on key press, on key up, on load, rel, rows, row spams, rules, span, style, sourcing, style, target, title, type, vlin, value version and width out of which some of them are used in future in the previous classes align we used alter we used background used busy color used cell padding used um, color used column span used height used coordinates used herif used this is used uh, id one where one place we are used so name used on and uh, row spams, rows, rules, span, style, title, type, vlin, value, width. These tags are used previously. Okay, um, but few are not used. But when we are using CSS, automatically remaining also used. We are learning the content of CSS in depth for the visibility of the website. We give more visibility of the website. This is what exactly I am telling you. With this, almost all uh, we finished HTML. Now we are not at all uh, discussing about HTML5. Purely we are discussing HTML. These are the basic things. Few tags are missed. That is, um, mark you tag. Okay, like uh, uh, ten or fifteen tags are missed. But that are right now currently the market is not uh, using. I hope. Okay, so the main objective is to with these uh, previous videos you are getting more awareness how a website is designed how we are navigate, navigating from one page to another place okay in the coming videos we are explaining about cascading style sheets and using that cascading style sheet into our html page to give more look and feel so after that we also use some client side validation and some 2d effects by using javascript okay after completion of this we we also explain about bootstrap html5 and bootstrap it gives professional website designing not development we are not at all till we are not at all concentrating on complete web development we are discussing only complete web designing up to bootstrap after that we will explain php and mysql with that you are learning complete website designing and complete website development okay you can design a professional complete website after the web technology course will be completed i hope it takes more days for completing the task but with this we conclude html and in the next video onwards in the next video onwards we are teaching css cascading style sheets thank you